Do you have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection! It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Uh, Two-day oh, field drill. Man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Coroner says it's going to be at least a week to get an idea. And he still confessed. I don't want to be rude, but I think I have a bad. Can you drive to this one? Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let it go. How you do that? I'll give him something better. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. His car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Harry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. We 
be notified next of kin. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent foot ornament. Those things are killers. Body traveled a good 20 feet. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. So the driver managed to break before the impact. It's all yours, Detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Nosy, aren't you, Miss Perry? Do you want my help, or don't you? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. It's pretty dark, Miss Perry. You sure about the car? Of course I'm sure. My Uncle Bernie has one just like it back in Topeka. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. That's a nice story, Miss Perry. But it's not what really happened. You think I'm making this up? Don't ask me, never find out. Go on. Then a third person, another man, got involved. It's in your best interest to work with the LAPD, ma'am. One day you'll find yourself in trouble and needing a cop. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. 
I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take more of Mrs. Patterson home. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Why are you lying, Lynch? What are you covering up? Is that the best you've got? You expecting me to confess to being the driver? I'd suggest you speak to someone who saw what happened. I'm about done speaking to you. Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a list of dark red Lincoln Continentals. Just a moment. This is going to be quite a list, Detective. Nice. Cross-check for registered addresses. Top of the pile, anything from the downtown area. Around Bunker Hill. One moment. Fred Murray, 120 South Olive Street, between 1st and 2nd Street. Harris Jones, number one Dillon Lane. William Shelton of 738 West Temple Street. That's all for downtown. You've got that, Detective? Thanks. Might call for some leg work, but it's better than nothing.
You're behind the wheel. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car. Now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Beg I... Beg your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Admit it, you were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. <laughs> How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now. I would have loved to push him under a car many a time, but not this time. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Zabo has no money. This place can't be worth much. Where is the money coming from? 
My father left me this house and some money. Lester took out a second mortgage. I held on to the money and kept my mouth shut. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. We're leaving, Lorna. But this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves scarce. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one, Detective, from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thank you. I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business to run. You can drive. Navy blue. The DMV gremlin strikes again. Let's get out of here, Phelps. This is a busy street, okay? That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy.
You're behind the wheel. It's not our vehicle. This thing's been gathering dust for months. Let's try the next one. Can you drive to this one? Your favorite orchestras and... right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You're packing your bags and making a run for it. You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I wonder if he killed someone driving like this. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Don't let that asshole get away. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge.
You drive. I need to go over the case notes. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up? I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. But the trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to the crime scene. We need to hit Ray's one more time in trial for evidence. So there was some truth to Sheldon's cock and bull story after all. He didn't stop, but he didn't kill Patterson either. You know the way. You can drive. Well, national news. I'm no betting man, but I know where I put all my chips. The grieving widow and her shoulder to cry on. Now all we need is a murder weapon. This as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. Leroy Sabo, you're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Go! I'll bring the car around and head him off. It's too late, Sabo. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. 
never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Pass. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on the detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. 